I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on displacement of a function. The question here is, the position function for an object moving in horizontal line is given by s of t equals to t square minus 10t, where s is in meters as a function of time t in seconds. We need to draw the diagram of object's position and determine the distance traveled in first 10 seconds. So we'll draw the diagram in the interval 0 to 10 itself, right? And then also calculate the total distance traveled in first 10 seconds. What we are given is the displacement function s of t equals to t square minus 10t. Let us find the velocity function also, which as you know, is equal to derivative of the position. So it comes to 2t minus 10. If you factor, you get 2 times t minus 5. As you can see from here, if you analyze the velocity function, you will realize that if t equals to 0, then the velocity is negative, right? Velocity is negative. Uh, if t equals to 5, velocity is 0. But if t is greater than 5, then it is positive, right? So velocity is negative when t is to start with. And then after 5 seconds, the velocity becomes positive. So velocity graph will be kind of like this, uh, starting like this, right? So at, at 5, it is going to be 0. Negative velocity really means that the object is traveling towards the left side. So, so if we sketch the displacement graph, what we realize is that for the first five seconds, object moves left. And then velocity becomes positive means it starts moving to the right side. Do you see that? So that becomes the movement, the horizontal, along the horizontal line of the object. And that is why it is very important to find a velocity and understand what the real situation is, right? So do not just substitute 10 here and find a value that may give you displacement at t equals to 10, but not the distance traveled in first 10 seconds. So that's a word of caution. So what we really need to do here is at t equals to zero, we should find the displacement. So we'll find displacement at t equals to zero, at t equals to five, and also at t equals to 10. And then from there, we can calculate the total distance covered. So at t equals to 0, if I substitute here, we get s of 0 equals to 0, right? 0 minus 0, which is 0. At t equals to 5, displacement is equal to 5 square minus 10 times 5, which is uh, 25 minus 50, or minus 25. Displacement is in meters. At t equals to 10, displacement at 10 will be equals to 10 square minus 10 times 10, which is 10 square is 100, and this is also 100, so it is again 0. So after 10 seconds, actually, the object returns back to the position where it started. Do you see that? So, so basically, we can summarize that in the first 10 seconds, object moves from the initial position, let me call this as O, the initial position moves left and covers a distance of 25. That minus displacement shows left side movement. Is it okay? So at this position, T is equals to 5 seconds and s is equals to minus 25 meters. After that, the velocity becomes positive and the object moves right. 
and it moves up to this point only right in first 10 seconds continue but in 10 seconds it comes to that point which is at t equals to 10 s is equal to 0 that means it comes back by 25 meters correct so that becomes your diagram for the displacement of the object or the position diagram in the first 10 seconds right and the total distance which is part b total distance is how much total distance covered is 25 left and 25 return so we have to add the absolute values of these displacement to get total distance which is 50 meters so our answer is that in first 10 minutes seconds in in 10 seconds in first 10 seconds it travels 50 meters is it okay you will notice that the displacement after 10 seconds is zero but the distance traveled is 50 meters and that is very important to understand so i hope with this you understand why we took the derivative of displacement or position and figured out in which region the object is traveling in negative negative means we'll consider going towards west east is considered positive when we consider horizontal line right and then once we know all that we can actually draw the diagram as shown here i hope that helps thanks for watching feel free to write your comments and views and if you like and subscribe that'll be great thank you and all the best.